Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane. This video is part of my underrated game series. And today we're going to be talking about the Vita, the PSP, the 32X, and the Sega CD. Welcome back to underrated game series number nine, I believe right now. So first off, um, these are all a bunch of games that I personally own. I'm not suggesting anything that I don't own. And uh, these are just games that I believe have pretty much fell under a lot of people's uh, radar, or I think they need to be talked about a little bit more. So we're gonna start off with Drive Girls for the PlayStation Vita, released by Oxus Systems or uh, AK Systems or SYS Oxus uh, in 2017. Uh, this game is anime girls that transform into vehicles. Uh, that's the kind of cheesy part of it, but it's actually a really good 3D action game where you just run around and beat up these aliens that are trying to mess up the world that you're in and stuff and you start off as you know the typical person showing up to join the team and eventually you branch out and start playing some of the other characters as well this game's a lot more fun than uh cheese even though you know they they tried to go the waifu route where it's like you know somewhat pinup style uh, anime girls that transform into cars and they bash things and they have various weapons and stuff like that but it's still a good game. Um, I don't regret owning it on the Vita. Um, I wish it kind of got re-released like on the PS4 or something like that so that more people could possibly experience this game. But right now, as far as I know, it's locked on the Vita and um, not a lot of people uh, collect for the Vita and honestly, not a lot of people know about this game that are even collect with the Vita. Next up, we're going to go with an oldie but goodie on the PlayStation Portable. It's going to be Fantasy Star Portable 1 and 2, released 2009 by uh, Sega and also 2010 by Sega. Both of these games are absolutely beautiful. I love the Fantasy Star series. This sticks with the Fantasy Star Online uh, theme where you create a custom character and you can go through the offline story mode or you can team up with a partner online and just have an absolute blast. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think this really picked up outside of Japan too much for the online multiplayer part. I think most of the people who were playing this game were in Japan. Uh, I didn't see a lot of US players when I was playing this. Um, I did get through the game and I absolutely love it. Um, I'm not so sure that the servers are still up right now, but hopefully uh, if they are down that we're going to be getting a few custom servers and a few private servers soon. Next up we have Shadow Squadron on the 32X, released 1995 by Sega. Again, it's something that's on the 32X, so there's a very small number of people that actually collect for that system. And it's a shooter that tried to compete with, I guess, Star Fox. And it's kind of presented in that same, uh, that same view that Star Fox had. And it's actually a lot of fun. The music isn't that bad. Um, it's, it is a polygon shooter from behind and stuff. Uh, I think Star Fox might have the better story and more established lore, but this is not a bad game. And if you find it for cheap and you already have a 32X, I suggest you should pick it up and give it a shot. So next, on the Sega CD, we have Android Assault, released 1994 by Big Fun Games. Android Assault is, well, it's a lot like Musha. Um, it's a wonderful shooter where you're playing as a mech, you're flying around destroying things as much as you can, has a great soundtrack, has a lot of the, the really good classic style uh, shmup mechanics that I've fallen in love with. And again, not a lot of people talk about it, but I think that uh, everyone out there should at least give it a shot. And if you turn out to like the game, you know what, drop the money and pick it up. Uh, speaking of Sega CD, 
We have Sylphid 1993 by Game Arts. This is another uh, polygon shooter that is actually a vertical style shooter where you're you're viewing from top down and you're going up the screen. Every once in a while, the, the view kind of alters around and the, and the camera will pan around a little bit, but for the most part, it is a vertical shooter. This game is really great and it actually inspired what, like two more Silphied games? Um, my The one that's my absolute favorite of the series is Project Silphied on the Xbox 360, but this is where it all began. And it's got a great soundtrack. Uh, it's got a lot of choices that you should make uh, and, and like how you should approach the game. And honestly, it just does not get enough love. And finally, we have Solfeast on the Sega CD 1992 by Sega. Now, this game actually was released uh, previously on a cartridge, but they wanted to show off on the Sega CD a little bit, so they upgraded the sound, and it's pretty much the same game. Um, it's It's got a lot of really good bare bones, uh, you know, shmup things going on in there, and it's just a lot of fun, and I've gone through, and this is one of my favorites to actually compare the Genesis cartridge and the Sega CD for those people that come over to my house and actually want to see a difference between the systems. And it's mainly not anything that you can really see, it's more of what you can hear. And that's that's the real uh, the real thing that you know gravitates people towards this, or it should is the soundtrack for this game. Um, just the improved soundtrack on the Sega CD is definitely worth the difference between the cartridge version of the game and the CD version of the game. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.